this particular video we are talking about Linda Spears recent audio there's this audio and screenshot messages and a story that is out there I saw it on Mkosi entertainment he had a situation or some drama that he impregnated a 21 year old Instagram Instagram Instagramations found someone there the algorithm recommended this young lady <laughs> in 2000 <laughs> a 21 year old and uh, after the algorithm recommended this lady ah the man slid into the dms and <laughs> he sent a message over and this has resulted now into this particular story if you want to hear the audio you can go to um because life but apart from that i'll put the link of that video of that video where you can hear the audio down in the print comments i want to just give a small little thought about this one here about this particular story okay so such reality vlogs haven't posted here in a while uh i've been trying to get my energy up for all these episodes and stuff like that so don't worry we're gonna fix it up this still looks a little bit dark we are under load shading and i i, I forgot ah, i just switched off <laughs> I just switched off my headlight so, <laughs> and so I was wondering why do I have such a black but anyways and so let's talk about this particular subject there is a lot that is now that's a, it's a completely different subject altogether and each and every single one of these elements you can talk about them individually without even coming into thing nowadays social media has dictated a different way of communication and not only that it has now dictated uh, the level at which our interest can be explored so if there's a certain area of interest in you even if you have never expressed it with social media you can quickly get there you know you can quickly zoom yourself <laughs> can quickly maneuver yourself into areas of interest you wouldn't have where it would have been difficult for you to communicate yeah it makes it easier in the snap of a finger you are instantly there teleportation qualities qualities very vibe, very quick that's what that has done that's what social media has done but another thing to note about that while we are speaking about these capabilities that come with social media now there is another thing that comes up all the areas of lust while we are picking up our interest all the areas of lust get quickly exposed now with platforms like instagram i've stated i went and i actually um I deactivated my Instagram now it's still there but I completely deleted thing okay I completely deleted it and stuff like that and so I've not been there for like a, is it two months I can't remember even my Facebook page is completely deactivated right now I'll get back to it if I'm look the only time I'm I'm on Instagram is when I'm looking for something there are two two pages or so that I follow that I just go on on the laptop nobody's browsing is instagram on, on the laptop i don't have those apps on my phone so i just go down there pick up whatever i'm looking for and i'm out these platforms like instagram the most unhealthy platform i've ever seen now tiktok is one thing you know with the short form content whatnot and um the copycat no creativity uh, space in tiktok but when it comes to instagram it seeks to pollute like even if you are not interested in something instagram will continue to push it until you keep scrolling that same content and uh, it is one thing to have an obsession in one in, in, in one area but if your area of uh, of of ease temptation is in the opposite sex instagram takes advantage of that and women Ah, shit. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> for because Instagram feeds that validation from the opposite sex when it comes to females. You know, it's not so much for the males. Yeah, it's not so 
you know, there isn't so many points of interest. But for a woman, body, how they portray themselves, because even the screenshots of the messages show, you know, his first comment was, you are very beautiful. <laughs> if you check the particular video that Umkosi made. And so, you are very beautiful. And so, with that there, all his, the areas of interest that would have been hidden outside of social media now come out. And those areas which he would have not dared to explore, he's more willing to explore on a small little thing like this. Cell phone. But in person, he would not have. He would have stayed back. And so now, it's now exposed that that lady was pregnant and not only was she pregnant, now she's been trying to get uh, financial assistance from him and he's not been responding. Mandem's not been responding. And she did, uh, there's actually an audio there that you can actually hear of him making a response to her. And the sad part is this. You know, like Bill Blur actually once made this particular joke and he says, um, a lot of people spend so much time learning things that they will never actually have an interaction with. But the one thing that they, they are going to have an interaction with on a daily basis, they do not dare to study. And that one thing is those areas that are mentioning of the areas of interest which, which temper or which go into the area of temptations that you know you have individually. Least those areas come out like Linda Spear right now. Okay, because people might have thought, you know what, um, somebody who's 25 years plus younger than you and you're over there. So, some people might go on that particular talk. That's not the subject that I want to talk about. You know, we, we handle subjects differently. And so me, I'm handling this subject completely different. I'm coming at it on a different one. I'm saying you, who's watching this video, you have areas of interest and temptations how do you handle those areas how do you handling how are you handling those subjects i linda spears one they are done <laughs> his ones are done his ones are done it's news out there in the public now it's in the public domain whether it be the screenshots or the video it's all in the public domain the question is you, in those areas of temptation, in those areas of vulnerability, when that thing comes up, how are you handling it? <laughs>